So to make a plot of the eddy viscosity or the turbulent viscosity, I have to transfer that from fluent, which doesn't come in by default. So start fluent and go to file data file quantities. And in addition to skin friction coefficient, make sure turbulent viscosity is selected and say OK. And when I make that change that, you know, I don't get a refresh. So that data doesn't get transferred automatically into CFD post. So I have to kind of force um, the transfer of data to CFD post. So I'll do that by running one iteration. So come back to Fluent, run one iteration, which shouldn't change the solution, but I'll get the refresh and I will right click and say refresh. And when the refresh is done, the new data, including turbulent or eddy viscosity is transferred to CFD post. Now I'll come into CFD post and I'm going to create an expression first and then a variable from the expression and then I'll, I'll do the plot. So go into expressions and right click and say new and I'll call this expression mu t non-dime and I'll say this is the expression and then I'm going to create the variable from the expression. So first I will right click variables and I see eddy viscosity. So CFD post calls it eddy viscosity Fluent calls it turbulent viscosity, and both terminologies are used in practice. And I will add the laminar viscosity, the molecular viscosity, which is uh, 2 e to the power of minus 5 in the problem statement. The units are kg per meter per second. And I need to divide this whole thing by the molecular viscosity and again I'll give it the units okay so this is mu t plus mu over mu and I'll say apply and if you did that right it says it's a variable which is non-dimensional as others have shown you the dimensions so I have the expression next I'll create the variable so I'll go into the variables tab right click new, I'll call this mu t non-dime and I'll say OK and I'll create the variable from the exp from an expression and then specifically the expression that I just created, mu t non-dime expression and I'll say apply. So I should have my non-dimensionalized uh, turbulent viscosity, so I'll plot this versus this. So I'll come, in, uh, come into outline, um, click on chart, and I'll say mu t non-dime. Okay, since I use that name, it doesn't like it, so I'll say mu t non-dime plot. It's happy with that. So I'll go to data series and I'll say I want to plot this at the pipe outlet and along the horizontal axis I want to plot the variable that I just created mu t non dime and along the vertical axis I want to plot the non-dimensional radial distance that I'd created previously. And I'll say apply. And that gives me the, the non-dimensional version of the, the eddy viscosity plot. And I can change the titles and, and so on. And so I can see that here, you know, it's almost constant. Then at the center line, it's about the turbulent viscosity is is um, is about 55 times the 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 molecular viscosity.